Welcome to an Empower PL video tutorial. We're looking at Google Chrome and uh, we've uh, started with uh, the Omnibox but are now moving on to Chrome bookmarks and bookmarks bar. So of course, just like uh, any other uh, in, in navigator that you can use online, um, bookmarks are really valuable because it allows you to get back to those sites that you visit frequently or perhaps um, you want to be able to curate a listing of resources that would help you on a particular subject or topic or project. So let's talk a little bit about um, bookmarking. First, I'm going to show you the back end part of bookmarks by simply going over to the right hand side at the top of the uh, navigator window where you see three little dots. This is your Chrome menu. We're going to click on that. And from the drop down menu, you're going to notice that one of your options is bookmarks. And that pops open another window that shows you a couple of different um, things here. And let's just start from the top. So if you wanted to, from in here, you could certainly bookmark the tab you're on, but I'm going to show you a better shortcut so you don't actually have to go through all those menus for that. You can bookmark all tabs, and we'll talk about that here in just a little bit as well. Show the bookmarks bar. I always have this checked. I have it selected because I do actually like to see all of my um, items that I frequently use almost on a daily basis. And so having them accessible to me in my bookmarks bar is nice. And so in order for me to get to them, it needs to be visible, which is why you see that currently checked. Then you have the bookmark manager, we're gonna, which we're gonna jump to here in just a second. And then here, import, let's say you had a different Google account or perhaps um, used to use a different navigator and you wanna bring in those bookmarks that um, you had uh, from before, you could certainly do that by clicking on there and following the instructions after that. And then what you see below here is unique to my account because these are some of the items that I've bookmarked. Um, so don't worry about that. That would be your list of bookmarked items. All right, but let's go back here because I want to show you the bookmark manager. This is the back end uh, view of your bookmarks. It'll show you on the left hand side all of the folders that you have created. Uh, and then, of course, anytime you click on any of these folders on the right hand side, you're going to see that expand uh, into showing you anything you've bookmarked from within that particular folder. So let me just click on one. And you'll notice again here on the right, all of these different uh, resources that I've bookmarked under that folder have popped up. Um, and let me go dive into another one. I'm going to go to doo, 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 going mobile with Google. And then you see all these different resources. So I want to share with you just a couple of quick things about um, using bookmarks. Obviously, we talked about bookmarking sites and projects you're working on. But I also want to point out a way in which I use it that I found really valuable. So here I was doing a presentation at a conference on going mobile with Google. And I had a lot of different resources and apps that I wanted to share. But of course, when you're presenting, sometimes uh, you don't get um, access to the room early on. So you have maybe just five, 10 minutes before presenting. Um, or perhaps you're moving from one presentation to another and you need to move quickly. I like to basically bookmark all of my tabs into one folder that are a part of those particular sessions. And that allows me to be able to easily get to that content without having to dig for it or search for it or uh, fumble through you know, different documents to find what I need. So I really like that. Um, and I, I use bookmarks um, and folders within my bookmarks for, for that particular reason. At least that's one of the ways in which I use them. So I just wanted to point that out for you because um, it's just a, such a really nice feature. On any of these, um, you'll notice that there are three little dots over to the right-hand side. Anytime you see three little dots, by the way, always click, there's always extra options in there. If at any point you decided, oh, I no longer want that particular site um, to be a part of that folder, I don't need it, it's you know an outdated website, or for whatever reason you don't want it, you can delete. Um, you can obviously copy it in case you're wanting to share that. Um, you can open it directly from here, open into incognito window as well. So lots of options there to explore. Up here at the very top, once again, you see the three little dots, which you can also click on, and you'd be able to sort your bookmarks. Um, from here, you can also import as well as export in case you are moving uh, your bookmarks over to another account. And of course, you can add folders and bookmarks directly from here. So that's the back end of uh, bookmarks. So quick little overview there that I wanted to share with you. 
But let's just uh, take it one step at a time here now in regard in regards to bookmarking. Let's say we've gone to a website like you've seen me here. I've gone to the site called Teaching Tolerance, which I, I really like. They put out, out a lot of really great articles. So I want to follow them um, not only on social, but also bookmark their site because I can always get you know some really cool things from their site as well. So right now, um, this website, um, I haven't bookmarked yet. So I want to bookmark it. And one of the easiest ways to bookmark this is to just come up into the Omni box and you'll notice uh, at the right side of the Omni box, there is a star. Now you can just start from here and it'll pop open this little window indicating to you what folder it's gonna put it in. Now it's just putting it um, by default into my bookmarks bar, which is not where I wanna put it. I actually want to organize it into a folder Perhaps this one here um, that, I've, that I've already designated for these kinds of resources called the Liberated Educator. If, however, I didn't have a folder in here that I was like, nope, these aren't the ones I'm looking for, I could say choose another folder and it would pop open this window where I could either scroll through to find the folder I'm looking for and select that one, or if I don't already have a folder designated for these kinds of resources, I could click on new folder, title that folder, save that folder and that bookmark is now going to be in that particular folder. So I'm just going to show you by going back in by clicking on the star again and you can see here it has put that uh, resources under the DEI um, folder. So now um, so we're good to go we're done there let's say we we navigate away and we open up you know a tab and now we want to be able to navigate to um, to that particular uh, bookmark. And so I go to my other bookmarks and you'll find all of your folders that you're creating uh, in this menu, in this drop down menu that you have here. So all of your stuff appears there. These are under other bookmarks. Um, you might have, um, uh, let's say, hold on one second. I'll go back in here, back to bookmarks and um, you could go into the bookmarks. Uh, manager to be able to see other bookmarks that are not necessarily, let me close that, um, they're in that drop down menu that I have under other bookmarks. Um, so you can come down here and we just did, doo, 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 I'm looking for that DEI one that we just created. Anyhow, it's going to be in here. I just, I have a ton, as you can see, I use them a lot. Here we go. There it is. DEI is right here. So you could click on that and there is um, the resource. Now, instead of having to do all of this digging around that I just showed you, I prefer to be able to find things directly off of uh, my bookmarks bar. Um, and that's what that is up here. And that's what I was showing you earlier when we went in here and into the bookmarks to make sure that it was visible. So let's go there instead. So let's say, um, let's go again to a teaching tolerance site. Um, and, uh, or here, well, let's just go to another one. Let's go to common sense, that'll work. Um, let's say we wanted to bookmark um, this uh, this site and I uh, don't wanna join here. Okay, all right, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna bookmark um, this item. Instead of bookmarking it into a folder, what I wanna do is bookmark into my bookmarks bar area. So what I'm gonna do up here at the top is simply grab this icon and click and drag it into the bookmarks bar area. And you'll notice that it gives me a plus a green circle with a little plus symbol inside of it. If you go too far down, it's not going to work. So just make sure you, you fall right there in that uh, bookmarks bar area. Let it go. And now that particular site is bookmarked in that section. So even if I close it, let's go ahead and close that site and let's go to another one. Let's just open up another tab. You'll notice that that bookmarked item is right there in my bookmarks bar area. So I could just click on that and it's going to go directly there, which is really nice because it's just, you're basically adding, it's kind of like a shortcut to be able to get there really, really fast. Now you'll notice in my bookmarks bar area that I have some icons that don't have any text at all, but this one does because by default, it'll give it the text that it is assigned to give it to you. And that's, that's on their side on, on, um, uh, common sense has uh, predicted what text would be added if you're adding it as a bookmark, but we want to edit that. So I'm going to right click over it and then I'm going to click on edit and it's going to pop open this window and you'll notice up here where it says name. I can actually change that to um, 
CC, which I'm used to recognizing Creative Commons stuff um, with just the, the, the two Cs, and then I can click on save. And now that little icon just has the two Cs. Now, if their graphic icon, so this little check mark with a green circle, if it is very um, unique to Creative Commons, then I actually don't even need any text, which you see I've done that to my other ones. I know this is Google Photos. I know this is Twitter. So you could actually right click over that, edit once again, and completely remove anything from the name field. And FYI, don't mess with the URL, that'll mess things up. Uh, and then just click save. And what you end up with is just the icon itself. And I love that because I want to be able to put as many of my uh, frequently visited websites um, here in my bookmarks bar to make it easier and faster for me to get to the content I wanna get to. So so just wanted to show you that little trick there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and right click because I actually don't need this here. So I'm gonna delete that from there so that it's no longer um, in my bookmarks bar. But that uh, that is how you add things to your bookmarks bar. Um, I, of course, showed you the fastest way, which was by simply just dragging that little icon down. But of course, you could um, uh, go through the longer process of going to the three little dots and then bookmarks and then doing it um, uh, this way by going in here. Uh, last thing I'm going to show you here, um, because I showed you earlier the um, uh, some options uh, within your, um, uh, which call it within the bookmarks area. Um, so from your uh, tabs, all you have to do is right click and it'll drop down uh, this menu of just different options. You can duplicate items. Um, you can reload a page, as you can see, add a new tab to the right. Uh, what's new here is um, add tab to a new group so that you can group your um, tabs together while you have that um, open. So just some features in there that you can certainly take a look at, send to your other devices. Um, if you wanna be able to view that site that you're currently on, um, on another device, you could certainly do that too. So just some extra little features in there um, that I just wanted to show really quick. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful and uh, hopefully you start to um, organize all of your bookmarks and all the sites and stuff that you like to visit frequently.